Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about an Italian refrigeration brand called Fiaba. I'm Anisou Sagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things, whether you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go or you're into luxury, but you want to focus more on quality under the radar brands, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, then my content is geared towards you. Fiaba is a privately run family business that was started in the late 1970s, owned by the Baron family, Massimo Baron is the current head of the business. When they started the brand in the late 1970s, the focus was on making commercial equipment on behalf of other brands. And then in 2003, they started exploring making their own branded equipment. And then 2008, they formally started making their own Fiaba uh, branded equipment. They have since sold the commercial side of the business and their focus now is on making professional equipment, but for the domestic environment. So it's all about the performance, the quality, the technology of their refrigerators. They still make refrigerators on behalf of other brands. There is a Whirlpool, KitchenAid, uh, another Italian brand, Bettazzoni, that I may talk about uh, later on in the home series, which this video is a part of. And the home series is where I zone into a particular room in the house and focus on the items that go into that room and then recommend some of the best brands um, for those particular items. And then they also produce uh, refrigerators for um, the premium brand for Schmeg, and they're available in Australia. I may have one or two subscribers who'll say to me, um, Anissa, you've said in the comment section you don't like Schmeg. I don't like certain appliances from Schmeg. They're not well made. They're problematic. But the refrigerators from um, that are made by Fiaba for their premium brand are phenomenal. They're very, very good quality. And then they also make uh, refrigerators for a small but incredibly mighty Swiss brand called Visog that I'm going to talk about next in the home series. I say small because small, especially in comparison to the bigger players within your, your premium kitchen appliance uh, market. Think of Mila and Gaggenau, for example, but they're bringing much needed um, competition and phenomenal quality products into the space. Uh, I'm going to digress just like it, but it'll all make sense. Vizug was in the United Kingdom and pulled out just before the pandemic, but they have since come back um, and they're located on Wigmore Street. They're bigger, they're better, they're stronger, and they're gaining a lot of traction. Vizug is a phenomenal brand for the top end of the kitchen appliance space. They are bringing in phenomenal quality products. Um, they introduced your combi steam ovens into the, the domestic setting. They also make the combination ovens for Wolf, which I'll talk about uh, later on in the home series. And their refrigerators are made by Fiaba. So when I found this out whilst researching both brands, it was it actually sealed the deal. It confirmed the quality of Vizug as well as Fiaba. So they make on behalf of a number of brands, as I've mentioned, and they also make their own branded refrigerators, um, which I'll talk about in a second. They have six ranges, and with Fiaba, all the ranges are exactly the same. The difference is in the aesthetic. But in terms of the functionality, the capabilities of the refrigerators, all six ranges, it's exactly the same. The Alba refrigerators come in four size options. There's the smallest size, which is 45 centimeters in width. Next size is 60 centimeters, then 75 centimeters, and then the largest, which is 90 centimeters. Unfortunately, you don't get all four size options in all of the ranges. Some come in three size options or some in four. For example, under the counter refrigerators, you have three size options, 60 centimeters, 75, and then 90 centimeters. Uh, whereas the X-Pro, you have the full four size options. As I mentioned earlier, they have six ranges. There's the under the counter range where you have freestanding units you place under a counter. And then there's the country range, which is um, the units with the rounded corners. And they come in a number of different 
different color options. Then you have the brilliant range. Brilliant because of the, the, the brilliant, the bright lighting within the refrigerator. With the brilliant range, you find it's typically sold in bulk. It's what, for example, property developers would buy. They've built in a number of properties and they want to kit them out with kitchen appliances. Next range is the integrated freestanding units, which you then slot into your own unique kitchen configuration and then you place the front that you would like. The next range is the classic, uh, where you have the compressors at the bottom. Perfect if you have low ceilings. Or the X-Pro. Again, perfect if you have high ceilings because the compressors are placed at the top. X-Pro and Classic are very similar. They stand out for their entire stainless steel front. Um, very classic. It's neat. It's, it's, it's an outstanding aesthetic. When it comes to refrigerators, Fiaba sincerely believe what distinguishes um, a good refrigerator from a bad or a poor refrigerator is the refrigerator's ability to achieve commercial grade temperatures. So the same temperatures you get, for example, uh, in the professional equipment uh, used by butchers, their temperatures are typically between minus one and one, or your grocers, temperatures around zero degrees. So FIABA believe if you can achieve commercial grade temperatures and maintain them, that is what distinguishes a good refrigerator from a bad. And that is where their focus is. And how they achieve it is twofold. Firstly, the material they use within their refrigerators. All of their refrigerators, as I mentioned, are exactly the same on the inside. And they're made largely of stainless steel. Stainless steel on the sides and the back. And where the refrigerators have drawers, whether it's your fresco drawers or your trimode drawers, the drawers are made entirely of stainless steel. And they use stainless steel for two reasons. Firstly, it has zero porosity, so it's incredibly hygienic. Nothing is going to pass through um, the drawers, the stainless steel, for example. And the second reason, the main, is stainless steel is able to hold, it's able to uh, maintain the cold temperatures. And then coupled with their technology, they are uh, producing, as I mentioned, commercial grade temperatures for the domestic environment. What you will find with their competitors within the, the top end of the market is most of them will have one, possibly two ranges that are made entirely of stainless steel. Think, for example, Sub-Zero. Uh, they have the Pro 48 range. But most brands, as I've said, it's one or two ranges, whereas Fiaba, all of their ranges are stainless steel. The difference is just um, the size options available to you and, of course, the aesthetic on the outside. I'm going to talk through um, the Fiaba refrigerators. I'm going to use visuals courtesy of their website. And the video images are from uh, an interior design firm in Milan, who I would like to thank for their time, their generosity, uh, the fantastic conversation we had, Milano Interiors. They're located on Via Giacomo Lopo, uh, Leopardi. Thank you for all your help. When it comes to Fiaba refrigerators, you have three options, either a refrigerator with just one door um, or a refrigerator with one door and two drawers or one door and a drawer. And within those three configurations, you have the option of either one, two or three temperature options, depending on which configuration you go for. And which temperature option you go for, whether you want access to just one temperature throughout the refrigerator, two or three, is dependent, of course, on your lifestyle, your budget, the kind of food you're buying, your needs, for example. But they have thought through various considerations when it comes to temperature options, a different type of food. And ultimately, um, the main aim of their refrigerators is to significantly extend the, the freshness, the quality of your food way beyond uh, what is stated on your packaging, whether it's um, best before or dare I even say used by uh, or what the retailer tells you when you purchase the food. The fridge freezer I'm going to be using is an X-Pro, and it's two separate units, uh, a fridge and a freezer, as opposed to one unit. Pull the left-hand door open, and the left-hand side is a fridge. You have the body of the fridge, which has one temperature option, and then the second part, the fresco drawers, which is a second temperature option. Right-hand side, pull that door, and that is the freezer giving you the third temperature option. You could have one unit where you have a door, so the body of the fridge, and then 
uh, fresco drawers at the bottom and then below that separate drawers, which would be a freezer. What you get with Fiaba fridges is a fairly wide berth when it comes to temperature options. When you receive your fridge, they have standard temperature settings. So, for example, the body of the fridge would be set at 5 degrees. Fresco drawers would be set at 0 degrees. And if you had a tri-mode drawer option, it would be set at minus 22 degrees. But as I mentioned, you have a wide berth. Body of the fridge can be set anywhere between 2 and 8 degrees. Fresco drawers between minus 2 and 2 degrees. Um, and throw into that, the fresco drawers have 80% humidity. So that further helps with, firstly, uh, extending the life and maintaining the quality of the food. And then the tri-mode drawer can be set anywhere between 8 degrees and minus 22 degrees. So if you're somebody, for example, who entertains quite a lot in the summer months, you need additional uh, space to chill your food, your drinks, your canapes, for example, you could technically have the body of the fridge and the tri-mode drawer set at the same temperature and then when you're done entertaining bring it down to minus 22 degrees and it reverts back to being a freezer but it can be used as either a fridge or as a freezer additional features uh, you get you have right at the top of the fridge you have led lighting that brilliantly just lights the entire fridge you have the shelving uh, attached to a contraption called the even lift uh, which means you can move the shelving up or down without physically removing the shelves. And then you have, as I mentioned, the fresco drawers with the 80% uh, humidity. And then uh, you have the fresco drawers or a trimo drawer made, as I mentioned earlier, from stainless steel grade 304. And with both the drawers as well as the doors on the fridge or the freezer, they all have soft clothes. So no matter how hard you push them, they will always just close very softly. They will come in right at the end and then just clip into place. The doors, as you can imagine, are fairly substantial, but you can still open and close. And of course, you have the soft close mechanism to go with them. You also get with the fridge uh, and the freezer, um, uh, total no frost function. Um, ensures that you don't get a buildup of frost or ice where you then have to defrost the fridge or the freezer. You don't get any of that at all. And you also have a vacation and shopping mode. So if you're on vacation, it ensures that uh, the appliance is working on just the minimum amount of energy to uh, maintain the appliance. Uh, so it's incredibly energy efficient. Or if you've just been out shopping and you've got quite a bit of food that needs to be cooled down very quickly, then you use the shopping mode, very similar to what we have in the United Kingdom, to boosting your hot water or heating where you bring it on just for about an hour, for example. Same with the shopping, brings the temperatures down significantly, chills the food, and then the temperature comes back up to the temperature that it has been ordinarily set at. You also have, uh, on the freezer side of things, you have ice making capabilities where you can dictate the quantity as well as the size of ice that is produced. Fiaba wine coolers are a bit of a game changer for me and I'll, and I'll ex, um, explain in a second. They have the same standard features you get from the likes of Mila and Gagana when it comes to wine coolers. You want anti-vibration, which they have. Um, you don't want the bottles vibrating and in turn affecting the quality or of the wine or even cracking the bottle. Uh, they also have the humidity control. They have lighting um, within the wine cooler so you can see the bottles and so forth. But they take it a step further with their doors. Their doors are triple layered glass and they use triple layered glass for two reasons. Firstly, like the other brands, for UV protection to protect the wine on the inside. Um, and the second reason is it's triple layered glass so that if there is a huge drop or rise in the temperature outside the wine cooler, the triple layered glass acts as a buffer between the wine and the temperature outside. So the quality of the wine is not compromised. You also have soft clothes with the door, with the shelving as well, all working in tandem with the anti-vibration so you don't affect the quality of the wine. 
And the game changing bit, and when I noticed this, I was like, oh my gosh, I really like this. And it resonated with me being from Southern Africa, where we have uh, biltong or jerky, as it's known in the United States. You can use the wine cooler as a prosciutteria, half of it. You could convert that to a prosciutteria and hang your cured meats, uh, your biltong, or there's a drawer that you can use for cheese for example. So you do have that flexibility, which I really like, and it's incredibly relevant to me. Wine coolers have uh, two to three temperature zones, typically two temperature zones. Um, if they add the drawer for your cheese, for example, that then uh, brings into it a third temperature zone. And the wine coolers have carrying capacity of 108 bottles. How they differentiate themselves um, it's the triple layered glass, it's the aesthetic, it's the functionality, it's the, the overall product, which is just bringing in um, a different dimension, um, different elements to what is already in the market. But Fiaba is a brand which I'm confident if I was to poll 100 people and ask how many people know or have heard of Fiaba, I would be very surprised if more than five people piped up and said they knew the brand well. It's a fantastic brand to have on your radar when it comes to refrigeration. It's pricey. When I look at, for example, top end of the market, the biggest size, biggest spec, 90 centimeters, uh, your X-Pro, your classic, um, your, for example, your country fridges, you're looking at prices of between 12 to 15,000. Integrated is a little on the cheaper side because um, you're not buying the front to the fridge. That's the biggest size. I'm giving you worst case scenario, 12 to 15,000 pounds. The smaller sizes, your 45 centimeters, 60 centimeters, uh, one temperature zone. We're talking prices around uh, 5,000 pounds and below. But whichever one you go for, this is a brand where you will get your money's worth. You will notice the difference in the long run. Your food is staying fresh for longer. The performance of the fridge. Uh, you have different options when it comes to aesthetic. This is a brand, if you want good refrigeration, you are mindful of the fact that you're buying expensive food, as I've spoken about with expensive clothes, good, expensive clothes, good washing machine, you're buying good quality clothes, expensive food, good quality food, then you need high performing equipment and Fiaba is it. Any other questions as always, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of Fiaba? Um, let me know down below. But as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.